tight up, shouldn't he? Just quick yeah, shot. Th those shots should come right off the chin. You know, off, my trainers would always say, off the chin, off the chin, off the chin. What that means is all your shots are coming right off of your chin as opposed to cranking back and then throwing. The great featherweight really pep one around once without throwing a punch. I think Zab could do that. He has the reflexes. Look at that. There's a super shooter showing his skills. Making Mabuza miss, coming back with a few shots, tying him up wisely when it when, when he falls off balance. It's big and shocked by Zab Drew as we come to the end. Around five. That's what we do. Uh, let it get in and out slow. Remember, bro. Do it again. That's a beautiful jab. That's a beautiful jab. And you get in there. You know, Tony, as we were talking about earlier, that dude's defense is just absolutely amazing. How you said, wow, you know, he's making a miss. He's standing right in front of him, making a miss. Sort of reminiscent of the great Cornell Whitaker, who is now his trainer. And, then, and toward the end of the round, you have Zab Judah not only doing that great defense, but coming back with a great body shot and great body work, trying to take Mabuza off balance. Here we go, round number six. Zab Judah, the purple came skipping out of his corner, ready to go back to battle. Kaiser Mabuza and the white back to following Zab around the ring. Tony Page along with the line. We're inside the Prudential Center here in Newark, New Jersey. Glad you could join us. Sam seems to be picking up the offense a little bit. To me. Just uh, more, look at that, good defense again. And can we set himself to, show some, to, to throw some more shots? And get the feeling he's boozing up where he is. Almost landed one there. Yes, you know, you know, Tony, you're absolutely right. Zab is definitely starting to pick up the, the offense. Not only that, he's very, very cognizant of what's going on, what he's doing, and where he's at every second of every round, I've noticed. Both fighters, I think, can pick up the pace a little bit. Zab, Zab can, can, I think he can win a, a round without throwing a punch. I mean, you land a punch and you miss, a guy hits you, but you make him miss four times, to me, you won the round. And, and that, that's, that's what, uh, unless you get knocked down, of course, but, but Zab is, is really putting on a defensive clinic. Tonight. Yes, he is, you know, and I, you know, again, I think it has a lot to do with him being refocused as a fighter and allowing someone else to take the reins, like the great Canal Whitaker, as opposed to his father. Nothing against his no, father. No. Nothing against his father, who trained me at one point in my career, and I think he's a tremendous fighter and trained Zab for many, many years. But again, fresh water yeah. always brings new life. Zab to in the center of the ring again. Trying to see if he can land a combination, digging some shots inside. Babuja just following Zab, trying to work his jab, just trying to throw his punches when he gets inside. It seems like Babuja has such a long way to land a punch. That hurts Zab. Good right hand. There we go again. That chin. Let's see. Let's watch how Zab Judah can keep his composure, if he can keep his composure. He should be clinching. You should learn that by now. Hold on to the guy. The Blues are coming in, trying to land that one shot. This is an uppercut. Twenty-six seconds to go in the round. Sam gets tagged again. The Blues are just coming forward, determined just to land one good shot, turn the fight around. Both fighters are in great shape here tonight, Tony. You can see it. You can see it in their eyes. You can see it in their breathing. You can see it in their movement. Good round from Abuza. Mm -hmm. 
same time throwing good shots at Zab and with this shot here he hurt Zab just a little bit there's Zab you know back on his heels a little bit after that right hand but it looks like he got it together and came back and fought hard for the end of the round there and it's coming out very strong here now I just saw something I've ne never seen before between the sixth and the seventh round Zab Judah goes to his corner sits down stands up in the middle of, of the instructions and then sits back down well, you know, it's, it's just very anxious, and, 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 and oftentimes, what a lot of people don't understand is when you sit down in that corner, yes, your, yes, cup, your cup pushes up into your abdomen, making it difficult for you to breathe. So, so and oftentimes, you see trainers pulling fighters. Oh, what a shot! What a Good shot! He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. Look at that. Good He's right out. Here. We can't. Right hand. Why is this fight being stopped? Because he's on his feet. This is dangerous. He is out on his feet. He is out on his feet. Why is this? He's not, he's not even looking. That's it. That's it. Great fight. And the and the great Zab Judah is coming on. Oh, he's out. Um, that's it. Zab Judah. Again. The IBS welterweight champion of the world. Junior welterweight champ of the world. That one shot power. He used his defense to set him up. All fight looked like he was just setting a trap. One shot changed it. Took his time, set it up, worked hard, showed the world that he is still one of the greatest fighters in the world. You, Let, you know, you can't teach power, but you can teach defense. He learned his defense, and he, could, he implemented that with his power. Look, look at the result. What a shot. He, I mean, I can't, I mean, I'm, I can't even tell you, I'm very, very happy for this kid. Because again, he rededicated himself mentally, physically, spiritually, and came in here tonight, and he is the five-time world champ. Five-time world champ, and people Kathy made. Duva, Noel Judah, Zad Judah, they're all happy, Look at and that. they deserve it. Now Whitaker did a great job in, in, in implementing the defensive plan. I mean, you know, that defense, Tony, you, you kept mentioning how, how wonderful he looked, how different he looked with the defense. And it was the defense that, that won this fight for him. He was, it was, it was, the defense just set up everything. We got a little concerned when he got stung the last round, but he kept picking up his, his offense. You saw the, the little flashes of Zab Judah, but then one quick shot. That changed everything. And I, I was really worried about Kaiser Mabuza because he was wobbling all over the place. And you hate to see a fighter get unnecessarily hurt. Well, you know. If it wasn't for the ropes, it would have went down. Well. So what a performance. Well, you know, here's the replay, Tony. <clears throat> and again, Zab was just setting him up, letting him, and then just letting him think again. We were talking about who was stalking who. Was he actually stalking Zab, or was Zab letting him think he was stalking him? And then, and it showed he that walked, and he walked into the shot. That was Zab and, laying and it, the trap. And it showed that he, Zab was letting him think he was stalking him. Again, we'll show it again here, where he thinks he's walking Zab down, throws that lazy shot, and then Zab just steps back, and then. Boom, right on the chin. And if you notice, Zab is telling Sammy very wet the ref, look at him, look at him. He can't continue like this. He's pointing to him. While this fight was going on, as is, watch Mike Tyson. He's in the lower left-hand corner. You'll see him in a minute. There he is in the jacket. 
<laughs> as he said, I he can't believe a, there I used he to is. do this for he, a living. He, <laughs> I can't believe he said that he couldn't believe he did this for a living, being that he was one of the greatest of all time. There is Zab's mother giving him. Again, you know, uh, you know, Tony, I didn't want, I didn't want to, I felt, you know, I didn't want to say, well, I, the reason why I said, why is he stopping this fight is because when, when a fighter gets hurt, I mean, protect yourself at all times. Either you're going to, there's no standing eight count He's taking too here. many shots right here. There, it, there's no standing eight count. If you're not going to, if, if you're not going to be able, if the fight is unable to continue, then the ref should just stop the fight. There's no return punches. That was my problem. He was getting hit some solid right. shots. He was trying his best. He's a game fighter. I mean, game, game. game he's looking fighter. at his corner. That was that was dangerous. Next thing you know, Zab's right on you. He, he didn't even know that Zab was coming back. That's, you know, he did. He, he didn't even know Zab was coming back. And here Zab just jumped right on him. No boxing. No, just jumping right on him and just getting his guy out of there. And, and just, the ref right saying, here wisely stepped in and stopped the fight, Tony. Thank God he's, he's okay. Great performance by Zab Judah. Getting ready to send it up to ring announcer. Zab. Boxing fans at time. 59 seconds of round number seven. Your winner by technical knockout and the new. Tremendous fight here tonight. Hey, Zab that, Judah that, that, showed that, the world. Listen, listen, everybody in the arena, I just want to let you know, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. But I want to thank you, this is bigger than just me right now, man. All these people in here know me, man. You watched me for years. I was a different kind of guy. I gave my life to Jesus Christ. I changed my whole life. And look what he did to me. He delivered me. He delivered me. Jesus is great. All praises to Jesus Christ, man. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. We did it! We did it! We're back, baby! This game's single! At the, at the end of the fight here, when Mabuza gets hurt, I noticed that Mabuza looked at his corner and did not even pay attention to, did not even pay attention to where Zab was coming from. And Zab was on him the second the, the ref walked away while he was looking over at his corner. Uh, so it clearly indicated that he was hurt, that he did not know where he was, that he did not know where